thing, two more stolen boards. Yes, just to do that sword was even one, but the second one's not working, so but we're going, I mean, we can't go past. So, we're just going to see if this sword can go play first, so this, but we might just put it onwards. We'll see them. I know all my dad's PlayStation. If we go on my PlayStation, or my we'll go on. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure blocks gotta be close. See a bubble gum, it sounds like that. It's a bugger, bugger, dumb. It sounds like that. It's a dung, dun, dumb. Wrong, you see a dung. Just getting it. I don't know what's wrong. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living I their lives and assume that nothing one. exciting will ever happen to them. Mm -hmm. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy. But they had each other, Aww, yeah. and working together, they struck Aww, yeah. it down yeah. and saved oh, just everyone. Spoiled, first season for Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world, and their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, that's venturing something. into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes. Ever live. Oh, uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. But it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. I don't know, Lucas. If there's one thing our adventures taught me, it's better to just be truthful. Let history speak for itself. I guess I can pull back on some of the, uh, 
The exaggerations. Yeah, like the part with the magic chicken? Talk about implausible. Uh, that actually happened. Oh, right. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were Jesse all there. Being like... For uh, most of it, yeah, anyway. That's true. Um... Oh, are you guys jealous? You guys jelly? No. Uh, of course not. Hey, oh, oh, go oh, jelly guys, the bean. come on. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, we've like, been gone just, a long just time. Who's Harper? Jesse, your intern. Who the duck is that? Guess he's oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, off. sir, Lucas, sir. So, sorry to interrupt radar. everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. You don't need to apologize. We're just hanging out. Right. Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. I, I, I mean, uh... Oh. So, what's Cute. up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. Ha. <laughs> We're all cute, guys, isn't he? It looks like he's just been taken over bin after to be in um, for like 1500 years. So, well, so like the fall. other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. Over in Redstone here, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. See you, Jesse. Uh, won't be the same without you guys. Ah, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. Yeah. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! Did you see that? Beacon Town? Ah, uh, get it, 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 get adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. I really do love this place, and it just keeps getting cooler. Right? I love it too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. 
I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but blah, blah, blah. I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. You guys look at this Awesome on the order hall's front lawn. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. Jesse, dude! Oh, no. I thought you were out seeing the worlds. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though. Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person, but sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome. Letting everybody be themselves, super individualistic, house over there that looks like a squid, righteous. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't like fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make like a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business!
My pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Jesse, I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, Don't I can't believe how many people are here. Well, it's so great to see you. We need to hang out. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, totally. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. I blew it through it. I'm just going to play. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm it right down. Okay, I'm going to go play it now. Upside down, I think. I broke my neck. Okay, I'm like Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, oh, see? He likes you. Uh, yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got. Huns. You never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. I bet they're going to be something from their world. I bloody bet you not. I... No. Wait. 
nicest pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. Yeah, he was my best friend. Still miss him. Aww. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For Founding Day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah. Talk about knowledgeable casting. I would love to. Seems like the least I can do. Oh, that's fantastic! Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies! Show Jesse your good side. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben-esque. Hmm? They're all adorable. <laughs> They're Friends all, all of a myself. Lord Ron Thunderpock, the thick toy, smushy cute cheeks, Esteban. Oh, I don't care. Okay, Esteban's kind of a crap name. So, I'm gonna go smushy cute cheeks. Oh, uh, Lord Ron Thunderpock, the six. Esteban, look at the little peggy the very end. Oh my god. Lord of Arm Thunderfog, up to the first five. Okay, smushy cute cheeks. I'm a smushy cute cheeks fan, he's just got that vibe. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic! <clears throat> I will piggy. Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at this the celebration. This little piggy went to the market. This Hi. little piggy went to the mall. This little piggy went to Adsta. And this little piggy went to test school. You know, I missed one more. Whee! Sugar, nice. Sugar, nice. Nice. This for Oh no, one more time. That, that was hilarious. Oh, oh my god. That's Stumpy from Stevens. That's definitely Stumpy. He has like a massive bloody house. Jesse! Hey, hey! Look who it is! Jesse! Hey! Hey guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I guarantee you is gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh. Wanna give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Oh, Bob nice. designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? Yep, that sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob, but don't worry. Jesse's going to help us settle this. Put a, a pink wool on you, Pretty pink, pink wool. Oh. Let's get to it. Yeah, I think that's definitely a good option. Nice, that turned out great. Uh, just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great. Go, Jesse! Woohoo! Oh, I'm nervous. It's one dive, Don't door. worry, Jesse. <laughs> Woohoo! Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, 
That was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive. Nice Thank you for that. Dumping. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work. Uh, Hello, Jesse. I am telling you, Stampy. It needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Oh, why don't we have both? Oh, well, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. I love turkey! Oh, that's so lovely. Even hey, I'm hey, you can now help me settle gosh. Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, I like ma'am. Thank you. I like monkeys. Huh, what a lovely garden. He said cake, she said pie, and I said, why don't we just have both? Oh, well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? I well, found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, oh. that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. 
Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. <laughs> Look, I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? What you looking at, citizen? Oh, Jesse! Wow! Hi! And just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Is it the appropriate aesthetic addition to the tableau that is Beacon Town? Doesn't fit. I think it's perfect. Oh! Wow! Well, maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, I love it. This just gives me even more to think about. Uh, okay then. We'll just leave you to it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. Uh, oh, probably has it to these. I just ask if he's okay, like, drop a yogurt bomb right on. No, no, what bummer. What? <laughs> No, no, give me a bomb. No, 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 no. Around here, like, oh look, the monster guy just killed you! Oh no, thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people, helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your he likes adventure Oro. things, risking your life, spitting in fate's eye. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye. Okay. Have a good time. Oh, you Am I always? <laughs> run, 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 run. Yeah, yeah. Petra? Huh? I swear she said to meet right here. Zombie, come back nowhere. Petra! Where are yeah. you? I see a zombie from back nowhere. No! I bloody know what I was doing. He still has a crappy iron sword. Oh, I miss this. <laughs> oh, smell not so much. But at least you still remember how to fight. Oh, hey. Hey, I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. I really do miss this. You know, us adventuring together, facing the unknown. Wish we could do this more often. Except I'm gonna have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor. What is that? Iron? I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look you who's want talking to dent with the an iron stuff. sword. Oh. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Zombie! Oh, Harambe! Zombie rides in Harambe! They listen to Harambe! I'm 
Toy Massacre! Toy, 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 toy! Toy Massacre! Haven't lost my step yet. Well, you sure showed me. Glad you finally made it. Sometimes I worry you don't even have time for me... ...your friends anymore. I mean, I get that you like your job and everything, but jeez. Hey, come on. Being Beacon Town's leader is fun. Of course a nerd like you would find that fun. This is fun. Us together, fighting stuff. Although... ...can't help but notice that we're missing... ...one, two, three... Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas... Is writing. I figured. Man, friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now... I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Hey, don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good but point. But don't eat chickens. At least oh, we've yeah, got the cool thing. Oh, yeah. But we'll worry about them um, later, I I We gotta hurry. Oh, yeah. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just it's trust me. Lot. It's important. What was that? Come on, Mom. Wait, what? It's monster hunting time. I'll get right back up, but hey, just beat what's up? Good to see ya. <laughs> oh, perfect. I'm starving. It's my kick now. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Where'd you go? Where'd what go? The dynamite. Ha! Ah, down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? A drunken! Nope. We're chasing a drunken! Mystery's what makes it fun! Come on! Let's chase it! Let's chase a dragon! Yay! Yeah. Let's chase a dragon at this game! off somehow? Like, maybe a little lava. Yeah. <laughs> Whew, that totally did the trick. Ah, see ya. Hey, no fair. No plan. Don't 
Go, 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 go. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah. In your face. Uh, Petra, Petra. Uh, cheater, much? I totally saved you back there. Oh, oh, yeah. You're right. Sorry. I shouldn't be gloating. I was just excited. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. Okay, Mr. Dragon. Oh, I feel so much for that. A llama? A llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <laughs> Don't it's not just a well. stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be, like, a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, I'm gonna put on a roller coaster again. <laughs> Big, ugly llama thing. Just hold still so we can get this over with. Got sniffing bum bum. Oh my god! Right, you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Grab the. Got sniffing bum. Super dark down there. We should make a torch. No. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? Here, llama, llama, After you. Llama. Jesse? Told you I'm not the mayor. I'm the leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town right. running things. Oh, I'll shovel, shovel, you all right? the shovel. How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Some sort of glove or gauntlet? 
Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. I wonder what Prismarine is doing down here. Uh-oh! Get off the pyramid, quick! I got you, Jesse! Come on, let's get you up out of there! coming from down there. Yep. Wow. That is bottomless. Well, we, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah, agreed. Sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. Look, I think that goes to the surface.
Oh, it's so close to Beacon Town. And I put this by that box. Here, maybe you could leave a warning or something? This comes by mine. Oven. Oven, this is your card. Right. Oh, that's mine. Sure. Yeah, that works. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... that was really bad. I know you're giving me that look you give me when you think I'm crazy, but I swear, I think this guy's our best shot at solving this prismarine problem. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. Gotta get you home. Um, Jesse, I'm really kind of in a hurry here. <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah, I, I kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh, it's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. I can't believe this person tricked you. That's terrible. And so unfair. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like, Champion City right over there? I had no idea that a leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. <sighs> All right, fine. Don't worry, we're gonna get this whole mess sorted out. Hope you're right. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! One of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. If it's really Champion City, then where are all the champions, huh? More like Llama City. Uh, yeah, good one. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Jesse the Wolfie. Jesse the Wolfie and the Ice Quest. I made people look ugly. Why well, to make trees out of oak fences? It's just unnatural and crappy. Um, all champions, like Jesse said, this is a lot more, but this is a little class city. Just has a little crappy city too. Ugh. 
Here's Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon tanners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit wonderfully. I know you think you like that one, but actually, I think this one is more for you, don't you think? That's right. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Uh... Oh. <clears throat> oh, come on, you. Oh, Luna, my darling. You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do. Oh, boy. Yes, that's right, my rival. I'm finally here to meet face to face. Yeah. That's what I thought. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Oh, I really, really wish I could. I mean, really, but I can't. Ah, oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. <laughs> and, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Ah, oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. We're... I was very clear. I what? make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. What the... You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. I... Uh... Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. Hey, you're the one who decided to live here. I... Yeah, I deserve that. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. 
That thing is so cute. Jeez, we please have oh, me. No. I bet we go out there. It's not there, Georgia? I need a well, How are we going to get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. What can I wear in? Well, easy puppies. See, you like bones, right? No, oh, not again. <laughs> This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty funny. She seriously thinks this makes you a hero? Treasure you got from other people? Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. But how could you pick Champion City? Stella is the worst. I know, I know. It just, uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time, all right? Ugh. No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. It gets embarrassing. Come on, Pedro, do you really think that's fair? We have lives. I have a whole town depending on me. Uh, no, it wasn't. You might have a point. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're... Sure it was here. Shh, check it out. That's right. It's Petra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on... Oh, hi! Hello! Uh, you... You should not be here. This... This is, um... Uh, hmm. This is incredibly awkward. Yeah. Well, I'll put on ten. Yeah. I gotta tell you, Stella, I'm actually a little flattered here. Didn't know you thought so highly of me. Uh, no. No, I, I was being sarcastic, because I hate you! You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened, and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. That's right, the day I reclaim the upper hand. Curse you, Jesse! Classic rival. Take the big head to let me pull him out. And... Time boot doesn't work. Raw. Feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back Mrs. there. But I appreciate you still oh, helping. Mr. Butters. <laughs> 
You don't have to kill him. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. Just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, and it feels so good. Oh my god, that It still sounds like seeing KFC. What is but now that? I just don't want to just That should be impossible. Tell them that. Oh, stupid cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. <laughs> so good to have you back. Not talking the first one. No, you don't! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. gonna get this to hold that heck mouth blew right through the ground first your prismarine gauntlet then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers we need to get to jack's fast yeah i hope this treasure hunter knows as much Jack as you say he does. he does he's got it come on i'll show you the way Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, then these people are dumb. Just because I'm the boss doesn't mean I can't mix it up. Uh-huh. Sure, sure. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him. I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? Well, if I can offer some advice, best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it. Jack. Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Jack. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Jack and Jack. Mountain, the ice crags of doom. Huh? Let's talk for what I know about. Get off that mountain hill. You are not welcome here. It's just like I told you. Jack might be the best adventurer in town. 
This stuff Whoa. is from all over the world. See, Petra? Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. But you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. Kablong! What's up, Mila? I'm going to Jack and Nerm's Adventure yeah. and Board. Oh my gosh, it's him. It's Jack. Septicai. Sorry, I'm I, I'm a big fan. You push the button. Very, very brave. Uh, thanks, I think. You're not being sarcastic, right? I don't make a habit of it. Warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. Except Kai. So cool. I have lots of names too. The the people of Sky City call me the the Ground Finder. Other people know me as the Wither Slayer. You can call me uh, Jesse. Ah, cool names. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple, Woodland Mansion. Whoa. Yeah, that's what we're here about. To get them to ring over. Yeah, hey. I'm going to owe you everything. Uh, what the hell? Wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, it's real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Found this way underground beneath Beacon Town. Thought you might be able to help us figure out where it came from. You did. Uh, you can. Can't you? What the fuck? eye. Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters. Yeah, and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol. You should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. Wow, I'll be sure to remember that the next time I see a mysterious prismarine gauntlet. That sass won't fix the pit any faster, you know. That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine. Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. No, no, no problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hi. I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Jack, come on. Do I really need to list off all the amazing things we've done to prove that we're tough enough to handle this? We can take anything you throw at us. <sighs> Let me show you something. <laughs> it's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. Let me 
I guess. The empty square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. Oh, I see what's going on here. You're scared. No. I'm the one the Apex Hunters of the Sergeo Pass call Fearless Dagger. I don't do scared. Oh, yes, he does. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends, Voss and Sammy, to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano, you remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get to that sea temple. That knowledge. Sorry, guys. I have to. Oh, 